Right, so today I painted the roof with uh, my 70 pounds a tin paint and resin and a ton of hardener and um, obviously my roller, this is my roller and my washing up, not my washing up bowl, not the washing up bowl we use, but a washing up bowl that Graham bought that was way too small. So I use this and um, I wait for it to go off so I can pull the roller out and I've just actually took a lot of trouble to snap this free. This is Nat Paint. Right? That's not paint. That is resin with paint in it. And of course the secret ingredient, mould. Which uh, obviously dodgy sugars and uh, overweight taxi driver, certain person. And, and what I like to do, I love doing this, is peeling out um, what's left over and then I'll, I'll scratch all of that out well actually that's coming off quite nicely in one big lump um, and uh, that look at that bowl that be once I've cleaned that up that'll be ready for tomorrow's lot so um, I'm left with this of course the roller is uh, buggered but Graham bought me three rollers. They're very cheap. You get these at the Chinos. They cost about uh, two euros each. And it's fantastic if you're a laminator. You can't fail with a roller. Uh, a lot of laminators use a kind of a roller with a lot of spikes around it to get the air bubbles out. Now I've tried using them before. Um, and then we, we met this lad down here called uh, Reggie. He's very well known in Gibraltar. He's fabulous. He knows everyone and he knows how to do everything. And he used to laminate big areas in Spain. Now when you laminate down here in Spain, different temperatures, very, very hot. And um, you, you've got to work quick. And it, it, he said to me, forget those spiky rollers because I brought one out with me. And he went, no, just a normal cheap roller, loads of, uh, loads of hardener, loads of fluid in it. So sugars, that's paint with mold. Yeah, sugar. Um, actually, this sugar is becoming my Bruce, my Bruce from the boatyard. This sugar's driving me on because I'm taking my rage out by putting loads of energy into my boat. So there you go, I just thought I'd tell everybody uh, in case you're not into laminating, which I am actually. I'm into it in a big way. It's a fab fabulous and fascinating kind of product. And I was right with the hardener. I got the, I got the levels just right so I could get it on and it, uh, it smoothed itself out with the roller. And then in the sun it, it splurged, if you like, into one nice unit. And um, it went off and it's cured. Tomorrow I shall give it a very, very, very light sand, take any lumps off, and I shall continue with my lamination. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> For what it's worth, 